Mike Yana here with Laptop Empires. And in this week's video, we have one simple goal. Let's simplify the Facebook ads manager. Let's make it so that you understand it and it's super easy. And so that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to go through the three levels of an ad campaign, campaigns, ad sets, and ads explain what each one of those levels means, what you do inside of those parts of the ad campaign. And then I'm going to show you what all the different objectives are and when you want to use different types of campaign objectives. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now we're inside the Facebook Ads Manager and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this is the brand new updated version, okay? So you can see here, I can show you the previous version. This is old, you know, out of date ads manager. They're rolling it out. They're changing all of this, but it used to be that you had this campaign tab, an ad set tab and an ad tab, and you could go through and see each level of the ad. Now we've got this new version of ads manager. It looks totally different, right? It's a different font even. It's just, it's much more updated look. And now those tabs are over here on the left. You can see campaigns, ad sets, and ads. So it's really good. Uh, we're creating this when we are now, because if I would have created this a week ago, you wouldn't have been able to see this new, you know, kind of user interface that we just got to. So we're going to be going through this and we're going to start because the easiest way is by creating an ad. So we're going to go ahead and hit create and you're going to get two options. So this is actually brand new too, okay? You see here, create completed campaigns or create campaign shells. And as you can see here in the bottom, it used to be called guided creation and quick creation. And the real difference here is that if you select quick creation, which I'll go ahead and do, it's gonna allow you to choose the name of your campaign. Um, you can choose your objective here. Then you can name your ad set and your ad, and then you save it to a draft, and then you go in each spot and you're gonna manually update all of the settings. Personally, I've always liked guided creation better or creating a completed campaign because you can walk through it step by step and just do it all at once. OK, so this is usually the method that I go for, but it's really a personal preference thing. All right. So we're going to stay here in this view because I think it's going to be easier to teach you this material. But before we dive into what these different marketing objectives are, let's go over here to the left and look at campaign ad set and ad and talk about what these things actually mean, what each set does. So I always like to think of these almost like, you know, one of those Russian dolls where you're putting things, you know, inside all the dolls inside of each other. And the reason for that is because ads go inside of ad sets and ad sets go inside of campaigns. And if you look at this kind of, this looks like a folder and there's like multiple things here and then the ad itself, I feel like this is also a good illustration of what you're doing because your campaign, you're choosing your objective, but it's like the bigger folder. And then you can have multiple ad sets inside of the campaign that have different settings. And then Inside of each ad set, you can have multiple ads. And so it kind of creates this big drop down where you could have one campaign with two ad sets, and then you could put two ads inside of each ad set. And now you're actually going to end up having, you know, multiple different variations. You're going to have four different ads that are going to have all the different settings. And it makes this kind of like tree. It looks like a family tree, honestly. Um, so the campaigns, what we're doing here is we're really just choosing the marketing objective. Which kind of campaign are we choosing? And this is very important because each campaign objective does something differently and the algorithm optimizes differently based on the objective you choose. I'm going to dig into that more in a second though, but I want to give you the brief overview first. Now at the ad set level, this is where you're actually going to choose uh, what your, your objectives are. You're going to set your budget. You're going to uh, determine placements of the ads, the schedule that you're going to run on the ads. You can even set bidding. All right. There's a lot of things that you can do in the ad set. I'm going to dive into that more detail here in a bit, but something really important to mention right now is that in September, this is all going to change. Okay. So currently you set your budget and you optimize the budget at the ad set level, but come September, we're going to be using campaign budget optimization. And you can see here I'm on the campaign level that I can actually turn this on and I can set the budget and my bidding strategy right here in the campaigns. But if I turn it off, you go to the current mode where you would actually do that in the ad set. You would go down here and set 
your budget after you choose your targeting, you would set your budget and what you're optimizing for. This is going to go away in September and you'll be forced to do it at the campaign level. Okay. So we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a while. Um, and then of course the ad level, this is where you're going to design your ad. You're going to choose your images. You're going to choose your, uh, your links where you're sending people. You're going to write your text and all of that good stuff. So let's talk about campaigns. Okay. First, you need to know what is your marketing objective, all right? And there's tons of marketing objectives here, and you can choose this little help link, and it'll go into detail about all of them. I just want to talk to you about some of the main ones, the most important ones that you're going to use most often, okay? Traffic is by far the one that people know the best, even if it's not the one that we use the most. Traffic is pretty simple. The objective of a traffic campaign is to get somebody to click on your ad to go to a piece of content. So if you're trying to drive them to a blog post that you wrote, you're going to use the traffic campaign to get them to go click, right? You're optimizing for the lowest cost per click possible. All right. This is very different than an engagement ad, which is the same thing as boosting your post. Okay. If you boost a post, you're really running an engagement ad. And what an engagement ad is going to do is it's going to help you get page likes or event responses or post engagement. But page post engagement is the main engagement ad. And that's just getting people to put likes, shares, comments on the post that you're creating an ad for. So a really interesting difference between traffic and engagement is one, traffic is going to drive clicks where engagement isn't about driving clicks. It's about social proof, likes, comments, and shares. But also with a traffic campaign, you can put in the URL of where you want them to go when they click on the ad. But with an engagement campaign, you have to take a post you've already created and select that post. And all it's doing is sending traffic to that post. All right. So you got to create the post first. And that's a really interesting distinction because you're you're not just going in there and adding a destination URL like you would for traffic conversions and so many of these other ones. All right. But engagement, really great way. If you've got a popular piece of content, send people to that content. Now, another important distinction, if you are using boost post, which I told you is just an engagement campaign, that's true if the post is text or an image. But if you boost a post and it's a video, it's actually going to do the video views objective where you're actually going to pay to get people to watch your video and you can optimize for different lengths of, of watch time and things like that. It's pretty great. So if you've got a video and you want more eyeballs on it, you're going to go ahead and use the video views objective. Now you can also check out one of the videos that we did here on the channel about how to grow your audience from scratch. We invited one of our students, Rachel on to talk about how she was using video to grow audiences, to retarget and sell products for one of her clients. It's a really cool video. You can check it out. We're going to go ahead and link it in the card here. And then you can click it. You can watch it. And if you want to learn more about how she's managing Facebook ads for clients and getting paid over a thousand dollars per month per client to do that, we have a course that teaches that called the Facebook side hustle course. And you can find more details about that by clicking the link in the description. All right. So let's get back on track. Um, now, you know what videos are, you know what the engagement and traffic objectives are. There's a couple other really big ones. All right. Messenger is one of the newer objectives and it's exactly what you think it is. It's using an ad to send people people to messenger to get them to start a conversation with you to click go into messenger so you can type back and forth and have these text message conversations really powerful tool especially with warm audiences people that have already liked your content and they're following you um, if you want to give away some sort of freebie or you want to um, somebody wants to inquire about a product or service messenger can be a great way to open those conversations and start that sales process all right now the big one, right? This is the one that I think gets used the most. It's definitely the one I use the most is a conversion campaign. Conversion campaigns are what you use when you want to collect information from people, when you're trying to get somebody to take an action. So if you put together a tutorial video or a PDF guide, you know, one of those things that we call lead magnets, then you can actually run a conversion campaign, which is going to optimize for people to not only click on your ad, right? That's what a traffic campaign does. It's optimizing for the click. Conversion campaigns are optimizing for them to click and then enter their name and email to opt into your newsletter to get that freebie. Okay. So conversion campaigns are really powerful. And one of the big mistakes people make with campaign optimization is that they want people to download their freebie and they run a traffic campaign and they get tons of clicks. 
but no conversions. And it's because they're not using the right objective. But if they use the conversion objective, they might pay more per click, but they're going to pay less to get that email subscriber. And the reason this is so important is because the algorithm is optimizing to target the right people for your objective. And here's what that really means, right? Um, I'm going to use the example of my business partner, Bobby, and myself, because we're two different people and we fall into two different categories. Bobby is a blogger. He reads other blog posts. He's always clicking on blog posts and reading those things. So the data in Facebook says that Bobby is a clicker, right? He's a person that clicks on everything, but he doesn't necessarily opt into things. So when you run a traffic ad to get someone to, to look at content, Bobby is the type of person that's going to see that ad. I'm not though. I don't read a lot of blog posts. I don't consume content like that. And I don't just click on articles and things of that nature. So I don't actually get targeted with traffic ads very often, but I'm a marketer and I specialize in helping people with list building and making sales and all that kind of stuff. And I love funnels. So I'm always looking at ads, clicking on them and entering my email address to just spy on what other people are doing. And because of that, Facebook has tagged me as a person that is a serial opt-in kind of person. So I'm always getting hit with conversion campaigns. And since Bobby's not opting in, he's not seeing conversion campaigns. So we see different ads based on our preferences and our behaviors on the platform. And so you want to make sure if you're trying to get people to do email opt-ins, you don't want to use traffic and end up with Bobby. He's not joining your email list. You want to target me. You want to use conversion campaigns and target me because I'll opt in because I want to see what you're up to and I might even buy, right? So it's really important that you choose the right one, all right? And then the last one that I want to talk about is lead generation. Lead generation is pretty cool. It does something very similar to conversion campaigns. You're optimizing to get somebody to enter their name and email and opt in. Now, there's a big difference though. Conversion campaigns send people to a landing page that you created. You're sending them to some sort of web page or something like ClickFunnels where you've created um, a landing page you know, for them to opt in. Lead gen pages, those are inside of Facebook. The person doesn't click the ad and go to another website. They stay on Facebook. A pop-up appears and it automatically populates their name, email, phone number, whatever it is you're trying to collect. So it makes it a lot easier for people to actually opt in. And sometimes this can work incredibly well for the same things that conversion campaigns work for. Now, I will say I've kind of noticed that when it's online stuff, like you're trying to get somebody to opt in for your webinar or you're trying to get somebody to download your PDF lead magnet, conversion campaigns tend to work better than lead gen. But on the flip side, when I'm working with a local business that has a special offer, like a buy one, get one free entree at a restaurant or a special program for a gym, I've found that the lead gen campaigns tend to work a little bit better than conversions, although conversions can work for local lead gen and lead gen can work for online list building and things of that nature. So these two are pretty interchangeable and you can just test and see what works best for you. But I hope after watching this part, you can see how important your campaign objective choice really is to, to you know, running your campaign. Because if you choose the wrong one, you're not going to get good results. So now let's move into the ad set level. All right. So inside of the ad set, you're going to be able to choose a lot of different things. There's a lot that's going on here, but the two big ones that you need to know about are your targeting, choosing your audience and your placements. Where's the ad going to show up? All right. As you can see, the budgeting is still here, but you know, here very, very soon, this isn't going to be an option. This part is going to move to the campaign level. And so you'll end up actually choosing your campaign objective and setting your budget. Then you'll go to the ad set level and you'll choose your interests and your placements. And then obviously the ad level to set up the ad. So this is really cool. This is where you do all of your targeting. You're going to be able to go in here. You're going to be able to choose different countries, states, zip codes. You can do like drop a pin and do a, a, mile, a radius of like 10 miles around a location. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can choose the location, usually the country that you want to advertise in. You can set the age ranges choose gender, even choose language. And then you can go here to detail targeting and you can type in just about anything you want. If you want to find people that um, are CEOs, right? You can go and find somebody that has that even job title. I don't see anybody with that though. Why is it not scrolling? Let's see. 
maybe we can do something like personal trainer. Maybe that'll work a little better. How about teacher? Okay. We can actually go here and say, oh, we want to target people that are math teachers, right? We can actually do that based on job titles and see, okay, here's 11,000 people in our targeting that have listed the job math teacher. But we could also go and similarly say, we want people that are interested in math. Obviously, that's a much bigger audience, but it kind of depends on what you're doing. If you're trying to target math teachers specifically, you would want to do that, right? So you can choose all kinds of things for, for interest here. You can go in and browse and look at various interests, behaviors, all kinds of different things. Fitness and wellness here. Oh, we want people that are interested in bodybuilding, right? So you can either search, you know, type in things that you might want to look up, like people that are interested in wine, that would probably be me. And you can see, you know, maybe if I pick wine, I can go to suggestions and they offer all of these other things, red wine, sparkling wine, right? That you could pull up. Then with the placements, you can either do automatic placement and let Facebook optimize it and find the best results for you, or you can go to edit placements and you can do all kinds of things here. You've got Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Audience Network, and even within like Facebook, do you want the news feed? Do you want it on Instagram, the marketplace, inside of videos? Do you want it on the right-hand column in Facebook, right? Do you want to do it in the Messenger inbox? You can do it for stories um, and in Facebook instant articles. There's so many different things you can do. And so you can go through here and you can choose like which ones. Oh, I don't want any stories. I don't want messenger inbox. You know what? I really want, you know, Facebook news feed and Instagram feed. That's what I'm going to use. You can narrow it down as much as you want to what, where you want the ads to show up. All right. And then finally, you're going to have the ad level. And this is where you can choose to do a single image or video. You do a carousel of images or videos collection. You can really choose what you want to do. You can upload videos. You can use free stock images. Like you can go right here and it's going to pull stuff up. Cool. I'm going to put this chest thing. You can put, you can put a URL. I'm using google.com on Facebook. <laughs> um, and then you can write your text. You can put whatever you want it to say above, right? Text goes here. Very simple. You can draw a headline down here. Learn to play chess. You can change your button. Maybe you want it to say download, right? Guide, let's go guide to learning chess, right? And that's all going to pop up here and you can make the ad look however you want it to look. And then when you're done, you hit confirm, you publish it and your ad's going to be good to go as soon as it goes through a short review process and finishes publishing. So just a quick overview, your campaign level, that's where you're choosing your marketing objective and your budget. You're setting your budget and the schedule for the ads. The ad set level is where you're choosing your interests, the audience that you want to target, your demographics, age, gender, those kind of things. And it's where you're choosing the placement, what part of Facebook or its partner things like Instagram and the audience network do you want the ad to show up on? And then finally, the ad is where you actually create the ad, the text, the image, the video, the things that you want to do to get people to click on the ad and go to wherever you want to send them. All right, that's it for our lesson on Facebook Ads Manager. Like I said, keeping it really simple. If you want to learn more about Facebook ads, check out our five-minute Facebook ad tutorials where you can learn specifically how to walk through a campaign to drive more traffic or get more email subscribers. You can find those in the description. They're going to be super helpful. If you want more Facebook ad tips, then you're definitely going to want to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. We talk a lot about marketing and growing your online business here on the Laptop Empire's channel. So you're going to see a lot about Facebook ads. You're going to see a lot about uh, making money online, freelancing, all of those kind of things that you want to know to grow your own laptop empires. So make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next week when we publish our new video on Tuesday. Later.